Um, it's definitely a interesting week in the life of a basketball coach. You know, I think it's a, a laid back week for a lot of other coaches as they've been on break for a couple weeks now. You can't really do any countable activities and it's one of the more stressful uh, weeks of the year for men's and women's basketball players and, and probably wrestlers or any other sport that are in season this time of year because uh, you have your normal grind of your um, of athletics, and then you also have your finals week, and everybody's wrapping up their projects. And a lot of times, you were either on the road the weekend before, so you missed a couple days of class, or you're on the road afterwards, like we are, trying to squeeze some things early. So, definitely a challenge. Um, to and just early on in my coaching career, I learned that you sometimes the best thing to do during finals week is to to keep things simple for your players from a basketball uh, standpoint, because the last thing they want to do is be in there for two and a half hours. And then for some reason, I can't figure out why they can't focus. And half of them were up till two in the morning studying or, um, or have been cramming in for a, a, a test. And certainly um, need them to do well in that area and want them to do well in that area and, and want them to focus their times on that. So trying to keep it simple this week, basketball wise, and keep it quick um, and, and just get them focused on basketball for the couple hours that we're together and focused on school for the for the rest of the, the week. But definitely a challenge this week. And, um, and it's um, you know you you see um, you know you see uh, the teams on TV or you, you come out to the dome and watch Minot State play somebody and, and it's easy to uh, see them roll out on Friday or Saturday night or whatever night it is but you sometimes forget how much how stressful it can be to be a student athlete there's a lot of things that go into it so definitely proud of the guys on my team for for everything that they do it's a big big time commitment um, both for the basketball side of it and the school side of it and it's an important week for that for our team. How much tougher does it make it for you guys as coaches to get the guys prepared for a team at Northern State's level specifically this week, given that obviously the guys might be focused on other things? Well, we just have to be, we just have to be sharp in our teaching try to, and try to simplify things. Uh, there's plenty of things to go over, uh, and it's up to us to kind of narrow those down to maybe two or three things offensively and defensively that can be big keys for us. Um, and if we keep it simple, and execute those things and we can be successful. So just trying to keep it simple this week. Um, you know, always trying to keep it simple, but especially this week, uh, trying, to, trying to make sure that um, they can learn what they need to so they can play free and easy on, on Friday night. What are the important matchups when you go up against Northern State? To have success? Well, Northern State's a good basketball team again this year, um, just like they were last year. Uh, lost a lot of, uh, from their team that was a national runner-up last year. Um, but still an extremely um, aggressive and physical team. And that's something we've been trying to focus on with our guys. I thought we were better in stretches uh, this past week, uh, weekend, um, of trying to make sure that, that we're the aggressor and that we're being aggressive at all times um, and not sitting back and waiting to react to what the other team does, whether that's on offense or defense. Um, you know, you've got to be the team that's, that's dictating uh, things on either end of the court. And we've been a little up and down with that. Um, and sometimes our, our, our guys get a little unsure. And if you're playing unsure, you're playing on your heels. So trying to make sure that, uh, that we're in attack mode will be a little bit extra important against uh, these guys this weekend, both on the road, number one, and number two, uh, against a really good basketball team uh, on Friday night and again on Saturday night. So um, it's got to be in attack mode. You know, can't sit back and wait and see what happens. You guys had um, Cody. Kiba both scoring 20 points last weekend. Is that going to have to be a benchmark in order to compete with a team at that level? Well, you know we've we've had pretty consistent um, uh, contributions from from Max and from David and uh, really from from Kyle uh, and Dorian as well. Those four have been, you know, they're all still learning. Uh, other than David, really playing for the first first time for us, um, but fairly consistent in their in their play. All getting better as the year goes on. Which is which is the main thing, um, but some of the other guys that we've had, um, you know, I'd love to see uh, Trevor and, and Nibra and um, maybe Drake or Cody Dwyer step up. Um, and those guys have all played some uh, for us this year, and they've been really good at times. Um, but I'd love to see them be um, better, more consistently. Um, and and each of them have had their moments. Um, but getting some consistency off those guys, and a lot of those guys are coming off our bench. We need that bench spark a little bit. Um, and then back to the other guys that, that have been uh, have been playing, I, I still think there's a lot of room for improvement for them. Uh, and 
you know, like I said, with, with Max and with Dorian really uh, playing for the first time and Kyle being first year in our program, I think those guys are starting to figure things out a little bit. Um, but certainly, certainly, um, you know, 10, 12 games in now, I think there's, uh, there's a lot of things to study and get better at, but there's, a, um, there's also some things that we've done well and they need to build on those things. Where do you guys really have to tighten up defensively? Because there's still been some high percentage marks from the teams that you've been playing against. Yeah, you know, um, I think we gave up um, close to 50% uh, for, to St. Cloud State. Um, you know, last week we shot a higher percentage than both the teams we played, um, and, and rebounding battle was pretty even both nights. Um, and, and really, in some ways, if you look at the box score, uh, especially in the Duluth game, you would have thought we would have won the game. Um, but just a few a few key breakdowns, and, and it's not just defensively in a lot of different areas because, you know, if you look at our last three games, they've all been to the last two or three minutes, and one team's ahead by one or two or three maybe, um, and we haven't been able to finish those off. So, um, you know, when it comes down to that, it, it's interesting. If you look at – if a typical basketball game has about 60 possessions, um, you know, the best team in the, in the in the country defensively, maybe they get – Oh, you know, 20, they maybe get 20, 21 stops in that, uh, 21, give up 21 baskets, excuse, excuse me. And the worst team defensively maybe gives up 27 uh, out of 30, 28 maybe. So from the very best to the very worst, the difference is, is those six or seven possessions out of 60, so 10% of the possessions. So if you can find a way to be better one out of 10 times, you have a chance to, to go from, from worst to best. And that's, um, you know, whether that's the first possession or the last possession, there's, We've been playing a, a lot of close basketball games and finding the way to value and fight for one more possession out of those 10, that's going to be a big key for us, um, and that's a big key for our improvement, whether that's the defensive execution, the offensive execution, a rebound, a loose ball, whatever that is, got to find a way to make one more uh, winning play out of each of those 10 possessions. you feel like it's more the offense or defense in those close games that are... That needs to improve a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know necessarily that you could say that one's our Achilles heel. I thought uh, last weekend I thought we were a lot better offensively. We, our attention to detail on that end of the court was a lot better. Shot over fifty percent both games. Uh, you know, at, at times we've had a little bit of a turnover bug. We, um, at times we've shot at a low percentage. Um, at times we've given up O rebounds. Um, at times we haven't guarded well. So, um, you know, th that's both good and bad. You know, I think there's a lot of things to build on, and, and at times we've had success in all those areas as well. So um, it's good to, to see some success and not have one really repetitive thing, but just kind of continue to fight for improvement in all those areas um, would be great for us. And, and um, like I said, just getting those young guys' confidence um, and getting them to, to, to continue to improve every day um, because we've got a lot of those guys that think that, that – I've seen play better in practice maybe than they have in games and getting that out of them um, here coming up and down the stretch will be a big key for us. So just looking forward to seeing those guys continue to grow. I know there's a lot of um, a lot of winning basketball inside a lot of those guys. We just got to get it out of them. Um, as far as Moorhead, uh, kind of what do you know about them and what's the game plan going into the final game for the break? Yeah, that'll be, uh, you know, again, the back-to-back -back road games are always a, a, a tough one, um, especially uh, coming into break. Um, so just... Um, high scoring team, team that also, um, they may be uh, the one team in the league that has more uh, young guys than we do. There are a lot of young guys on that basketball team as well. Um, and I think a lot of talented guys on that basketball team as well uh, as there is on ours. Um, so just kind of going into that break and kind of in that before we're getting rejuvenated with, we'll have seven days off uh, over break. But before that, uh, you know, finding a way to be tough enough to, to execute on the road and play together well on the road. That'll be big for us, especially that second get day of a doubleheader, um, you know, on the road and with the travel. Got to be mentally tough to pull those off um, because you're spending, you know, rolling in at two, three in the morning, maybe depending on what your travel's like, um, and then trying to get up and play the next day. Um, and against the team that um, you're going to have a specific game plan for, you got to be ready to roll uh, and got to be focused. So uh, definitely excited for for these last two here before break. Two young teams going against each other, and you're kind of expecting more mistakes on the court. <laughs> you know, I just think I don't know that I. I think they they're probably the other team besides us that's played the most games in the league. I think us two of them, and I think the way we scheduled, 
knowing we had young teams, we wanted to get a lot of game action. We both used exemptions this year. We got three extra games. They got four extra games in an exempt tournament. Uh, so we have both played a lot of basketball. Uh, and I think it's to that point in time where um, now you're just a basketball player, whichever one you are, um, you know, what, if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Um, hopefully we've got through some of those uh, young mistakes and, and been able to grow from some of those young mistakes. And I'm sure that, that, that they're saying the same thing. Um, because we do have a lot, a lot of young guys playing, but now it's now you're getting in your 10th, 12th, 14th game, um, and it's time to start executing uh, at a little bit higher level. And, and um, you know that youth excuse, uh, although it's uh, part of our team right now, um, there's no place for it. You know we've got to make sure that we're um, moving on and stepping up and holding ourselves uh, to a little bit higher standard. I think, and and. Um, this will be, like I said, this will be game number 13 and 14. So we've got a lot of basketball under our belt. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we'll continue to see better and better games. I thought last, last week we played two of our better games. And it's OK, uh, as I said to you after the game, it's OK to be proud of your effort and also disappointed in the result uh, at the same time. And I think our guys are a little bit in that boat where they know they played better. They took steps forward at the same time. They're still frustrated by the outcome of the games from last weekend.